Many RIPs are engineered to work with Epson Media Installer. In this example using Onyx Thrive 22.5, import any registered media from Epson Media Installer. By first selecting your print queue, click Configure Printer, click Device, click Features, Global Printer Options, Configure, click Select Registered Media. I'm going to select Epson Legacy Barita 2. Click OK. This will import the media into Onyx. Click OK. Click Done. Click OK. And now I can change my current media by clicking the gear icon. Epson Media's registered in Epson Media Installer are listed under Epson. Non-Epson Media's registered in Epson Media Installer are listed under Epson Media Installer. Now I can change my current media and page size, clicking the gear icon, my media group, Legacy Barita 2, click OK. And with your image loaded into the RIP and the media selected on the control panel of the printer and all other configurations in place, you're ready to print. RIPs like Image Print Black are engineered to work with the printer and not Epson Media Installer. As such, critical mechanical parameters must be set on the control panel of the printer for this type of RIP to perform properly. Here I'm using Image Print Black as an example. With Image Print Black open, we want to focus on the Media Management section. Here is the last profile that we used, Epson Cold Press Natural. And currently, we're in Profile Valet. For photo-based papers, choose Photo Black. For fine art papers, choose Matte Black. For color printing, choose Color. And for black and white printing, choose Gray. Here we're going to select Moab by Legion and then choose the media. We want to print to Moab Entrada Rag Bright. Profile quality and display lighting are both preferences that are set by default. Click Apply. Choose your printer resolution under Quality. Here I'm choosing 2400 DPI, high speed. Ink set, dither DPI, and ink limit are all RIP defaults. Click Advanced. The type of paper, Velvet Fine Art. This is the media that the RIP manufacturer used to build the profile for this paper. And this is important information. We're going to use this when we build a custom media type on the front panel of the printer. Everything else we'll leave at default. Here we are at the control panel of the printer. To create a custom media type, we're going to locate Menu in the upper left-hand corner and press it. This is the Settings menu. Now press General Settings. This is the General Settings menu. Now press Printer Settings. This is the Printer Settings menu. Now press Custom Paper Setting. These are the custom papers that are loaded on your printer. You want to find an empty slot. Here, slot 22 is available. Press 22. These are the parameters for the media type. We're first going to change the name. Press Change Name and enter the media type name. Moab Entrada Rag Bright. Press OK. Now we're going to change the reference paper. This is very important. We have to remember the reference paper that was used in the RIP when creating a custom media type. Press Change Reference Paper. Confirm that you'll be changing the reference paper by pressing Yes. These are our reference paper categories. Photo paper, proofing paper, fine art paper, and matte paper. Since Velvet Fine Art is a fine art paper, press Fine Art Paper. Press Velvet Fine Art Paper. And now the reference paper has been changed to Velvet Fine Art Paper. Next, we're going to select 
and press Advanced Paper Settings to change the paper settings. Confirm ICC Profile and Confirm Color Density are both used with our PostScript driver and will be ignored with the RIP. Press Paper Thickness. The paper thickness of Velvet Fine Art is 0.48 millimeter. We want to change the paper thickness to the paper that we're using. Press Paper Thickness. Change between millimeter and mil by pressing the blue button on the screen. Once you get the information from the manufacturer, enter it in. The media that we're using is a 21.5 mil media. Press OK. The platen gap for Velvet Fine Art is set to Auto, but we're going to change it because this is a thick fine art paper. Press Platen Gap. Scroll to see the complete list of platen gap settings. Because this is a thick fine art paper that's thicker than 0.35 millimeter, we're going to select 2.4 as the platen gap. Press 2.4. Next. The top margin for Velvet Fine Art is 15 millimeter, but we want to change that for thick fine art media. So press top margin. For thick fine art papers, we recommend a top margin of 45 millimeters. Press 45 millimeters. Bottom margin can stay at 15 millimeters. Continue to scroll down for more advanced paper settings. Margin between pages can stay as default, standard. Because the paper that we are using is thicker than Velvet Fine Art, we're going to need to change the paper suction. Press Paper Suction. The default for roll paper paper suction for Velvet Fine Art is zero, and for cut sheet is zero. But we're going to change that. Press Roll Paper. We recommend for medias that are 0.35 millimeter and thicker, to use a paper suction of 2. Press 2. For cut sheet and poster board, use the same value. Press cut sheet poster board and change to 2. It's important to note that the paper suction values will not appear here, but they have been set in the previous screen. Back tension is set to high for Velvet Fine Art. And that's okay. We recommend for medias that are 0.45 millimeter and thicker to use high back tension. Next, drying time. We recommend to leave this alone unless the manufacturer states otherwise. Keep scrolling down for more options. Paper size check is on by default for Velvet Fine Art. Keep it on to check the paper width, which will be recorded on the front panel of the printer. Next is Auto Cut. Press Auto Cut. There are two choices. Follow Paper Source Settings and Never Cut. Follow Paper Source Settings will follow what is set on the front panel of the printer by default. Never Cut will keep the paper in cut position until you tell it to cut on the front panel of the printer. By default, Skew Reduction is on. For thick fine art papers, turn Skew Reduction off. By default, lateral feed adjustment is on. For thick fine art papers, turn lateral feed adjustment off. Keep scrolling down for more advanced paper settings. Paper eject roller is set to auto by default. Press paper eject roller for more options. Auto will use paper eject roller based upon the media type loaded. Use will use the paper eject roller no matter what. Do not use will not use the paper eject roller. Don't use the paper eject roller if you see star wheel marks on the surface of your media. In this case, we're going to use auto. Press auto. Roll core diameter. This is the diameter of the media core. In this case, 3 inch. Press 3 inch. Paper feed offset. Leave this alone as we will come back to this later on. Print speed priority is the default for paper feed amount adjustment. To see more options, click paper feed amount adjustment. For high quality photographic printing, press quality priority. Now that your custom media is set up, press the home button on the printer to go back to the main screen. At this point, we want to load the media into the printer 
and select the custom media we built on the control panel. To do so, press the roll icon. Press roll paper not loaded. Load the media into the printer and select your custom media type by pressing paper type. Press your custom media paper type that we created. Press 22. Press OK to load paper. It's really important that your custom media type is shown on the front panel of the printer. It's also very important to do a paper feed adjustment. To perform paper feed adjustment, press on your custom media. Press Print Adjustments. Press Paper Feed Adjust. For high quality photographs, press Quality First. An alignment pattern will be printed. Press Start. Examine the printed pattern and choose the box with the fewest lines. In this case, zero. Enter zero by pressing plus or minus. Press OK. Another chart will be printed. Do the same thing. Choose the box with the fewest lines. In this case, zero. Push plus or minus to give you zero. Push OK. The paper feed adjustment has been made. From the home screen, there's one final step. Press the media. Press General Settings. Press System Administration. Press Paper Feed Adjustment Mode. Make sure RIP Priority is off. And now press the Home button on the printer to go back to the main screen. And now you're ready to print from the RIP. Now that we entered all of the mechanical parameters on the control panel of the printer, click Print.